So we're going to take a look at an elbow training drill, and this is this is just to get you comfortable working in a much closer range. As Michael feeds the flat elbow in towards me, I'm just going to pick it up on the same side. So as he throws the right, I'm going to pick it up with the left, and I'm looking to make contact in that top couple of inches of the elbow where most of the power is going to be. If you use your palm, it should be more than adequate to pick up that no matter how hard he throws it in. And remember, this is just a training drill, so no one's taken anybody's head off quite yet. So as that elbow comes in, I'm gonna pick it up with the palm. Now I'm gonna bring my other hand underneath and I'm gonna place it on his tricep and move the arm across. So this comes all the way across his body now, in order for me to throw another shot in, I need to trap that elbow because as soon as I go to throw over the top, not only does he have a spare hand, but he could also bring the same arm back in as he extends the arm out here. Because this is a flow drill, it's gonna be nice and easy. And the idea is that we get to deal with these elbow shots and get a little bit more comfortable as you pick them up. So as he throws that elbow in, I just want to reference it here but not stop it completely. Obviously, when you're training, first of all, and you're just trying to find your positions, keep it nice and slow. You will stop the elbow, but then you're gonna use your other hand to come up and move it across on the tricep. As soon as it comes past your center line, you're going to retrap with the hand, and then you're gonna throw your own elbow in. So this elbow comes in, you're gonna catch with the palm, then Michael's gonna bring the arm up, move it across, check it down, and then throw that elbow in again. You notice that we have to cover this arm every single time because otherwise it means that that arm's now free and it makes it a little bit more unpredictable when you're taking this into more free flow drills. So as you check here, you're going to keep the arm moving across, check it down, and I'm gonna throw the hand so catch, move, check, elbow. And as we start to pick up some momentum, you don't have to bring the elbow shot to a stop. So as soon as that strike comes in, I'm going to cushion it, but use the momentum to move past. For a safety thing and also for good practice, when we throw these elbow shots, make sure that you bend that elbow as much as possible to expose the weapon at the end. The, the hand has to be yin shaped, so you have to relax the hand, otherwise the tension won't allow you to strike very well with the elbow. So as it comes in, I'm just going to double tap, move it across, check it down, throw it back in. So that movement, we start off by just using the hands to reference, but obviously as we start to throw slightly heavier shots, we want to move our body to the outside. Okay, so the hands are referencing to be able to pass the body without getting hit on the way. So as the elbow comes in, we just check nice and easy as we build up the momentum. Obviously, like all of these, you have to train them on both sides, but you can just wrap this out and keep this flow drill happening as you move through. And it just gets you in the habit of dealing with these shots at close range and working within this trapping scenario.